Hey, welcome back to the plugin series. The plugin we are looking today is Notable. So if you have used Jupyter Notebooks, Notable is something similar to that. So to create notebooks in Python, SQL and uh, Markdown to explore data and create visualizations which can be shared with everyone. So let's look at how to install a Notable plugin. So you just have to click install and you can log in with uh, three options. So one is you can start with Google, GitHub or LinkedIn. So let me use the Google option here. And after you install it, so Notable is now ready for use. Le uh, so let's look at what Notable can do. So Notable uh, GPT plugin enables everyone to do data analysis. So the magic of OpenAI uh, chat GPT with Notable plugin enables people from every background to use natural language prompts to create computational notebook with exploratory analysis, visualization, machine learning data and manipulation. And that's what we are going to look at. So Notable plugin changes all that by describing data you want. So whatever data you want. So if you want uh, in import uh, a data, import a CSV or connect your data source and ask and interact with the data with your natural language processing, like uh, in English type language, you can do that. I am not sure if it supports other languages. I have just tried it with English. It works for me. I'm just not sure about other languages. I can update that to you or I will update this PDF, which I'll be providing you with more detailed information. These two are just what we looked at, how sign, sign in is done. So once this is done, now the next part is let's basically start creating a first Notable uh, plugin. So let's start here with Notable and the first thing I wanted to do is create my first notebook named demo notebook that prints hello world. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So first thing is it gave uh, the notebook as demo.notebook.ipython and this is the project ID everything and we should see a link once that is done. Okay. so. The file is done, the code is done and it did the print and we we are seeing add run and we should see that link showing up in our uh, Notable workspace. So let me go into my Notable workspace and refresh. If I go into my first project, so I should see demo notebook here, which was created uh, three minutes ago when I ran this prompt. So. Or if you don't know how to find it, it would provide a link in most cases here, which is same as this one. Cool. So it has the text here. You see the play button here. If you click it, it will run the code for you. So hello world got printed in a terminal. So that basically covers the first part. So let's look into the second prompt what we have here. So in the second prompt, the idea here is I have three CSV files which I got it from a data source online. The three data source is about Xbox auction on eBay. One is for day three, day five and day seven. And the fields of this data is auction ID, bid, bid time, bidder, bid rate, open bid and price. So what I'm asking my plugin to do is create a notebook named Xbox and import and merge the following data sets, filter duplicates and print first 10 records. So let's see if this would do, if it can respond for this query. And you can see it doing it, just it takes some time. Okay, so the project ID is done, the file ID is done and the first cell is null and it is creating a Xbox data dot ipython. The user can now follow along your cell with the notebook and in the second iteration, it is actually writing the code here. So you can see URL 1, URL 2, URL 3 and 
uh, read CSV is the uh, pandas code to read the data and it is doing uh, drop duplicates here and it is printing the first time codes and once that is done we got our notebook here and it even printed that in chat GPT output so that's the amazing part about it or if you want to execute the code yourself you can do it cool so it gave us the first 10 uh, with all the column data and other stuff so the next query i have is i want to add a line plot for bid open bid and price let's see if our chat gpt can do that so it's again calling the notable plugin and in the notable plugin and if you generally play with excel create pivot tables and all that notable is uh, ideal for you i will show you how to connect other data sources in the end of this and uh, i will there will be a follow up tutorial on how to interact with some of the other data sources which would not be covered in this net this one so we got a line plot i asked and the same code got updated here too and the next plugin i want next prompt i want to ask is uh, the bidder who has won the maximum number of bids So this one uh, should give us the name of the bidder in this table which we were looking at who has placed the maximum number of bid and it gave us okay and I want the list of top 10 bidders in the descending orders and a bar plot for the same let's see if it can do that for us so if you want to retry any of it the same query it has given you the pandas query too and you can also see it giving the data here and a bar plot should be coming as a follow up here it should print the bar plot to here in the next cell okay so it gave us the bar plot for the same data so you can see how many bits this person did here and also the corresponding plot so if you are not someone who doesn't know python or if you are some product manager who relies on somebody to get the data you can now do it yourself with notable and chat gpt so that's all i wanted to cover in this video look out for a follow-up tutorial where you can do more data sources like i said let me go back to the data source part and i'll sh quickly show you how to do the data source connection here you can just to create data source you can connect any data source here it can be amazon athena bigquery is from google cockroach db databricks maria db mysql postgres redshift single store db snowflake sqlite and trino so i will show the follow up tutorial how this is done